There will be no voltage output when powering on the power supply alone. Connect a control board to the power supply and then upgrade the specific firmware for the control board. Test after restarting, the power supply will have normal voltage output. For this faulty power supply, let's first remove the power screw, then take out the circuit board. Remove the fan. Measure whether the positive and negative poles of the output terminal are short-circuited. If there is no short circuited, measure whether there is voltage input in the front section. Generally, the input voltage is measured on the two pins of large capacitance. Measure whether the input voltage is about 420 voltage. At present, only about 300 voltage is measured. It indicates that PFC has no pressure rise. In order to measure the safety, it is necessary to discharge capacitor and conduct the next step measurement. First, check the control chip circuit for short circuit or faulty soldering. Control board chip circuit is powered by VCC. It is necessary to detect whether VCC power supply is normal. Measure whether the diode transistors of the VCC circuit is normal. If it didn't work, it should be replaced. Here our measure works.
However, the VCC voltage is constantly beating after power on measurement, and the VCC circuit doesn't work. Discharge the capacitor after power off. Because VCC rectified through multiple dials and output multiple setup voltages. Therefore, it is necessary to measure whether each rectifier dial works. It is the short circuit of the filter capacitor after the measure. It shows that there's something wrong with the rectifier output. The measuring trial works. The diode is on the front side and is covered by glue. It needs replacing by priming the glue. Replace with the new dial. Measure after the replacement to confirm that there is no short circuit. Finally, perform the installed power on test to confirm that the output is normal and the fault is repaired. One probe is to the ground and the other one measures the same pin positions of four driver chips and compares them.
The value of the same pin of the normal chip is basically the same. If there is a big difference between the pin positions of the chip and the ground value, the IC drive circuit may be short-circuited. If there is no sign of burning on the surface of the chip, it may be that the M0S transistor driven by is short-circuited. Remove the heat sink of M0's tube. Compare and measure the fourth pin of M0S transistors with belt and multimeter. Find out which M0S transistors is short-circuited. The fourth leg of normal tube is about 0.57 voltage. Switch the multimeter to resistance and measure the abnormal group of M0S transistors pin 4. If there are more than one damage, they need replacing. If the fan doesn't work, check whether the fan cable is plugged properly or observe whether the fan speed is too fast. Due to the high temperature, the fan speed is too fast. The power supply is lucky to self-protect so there is no output. Check the drive circuit of the fan. Whether the temperature sensing wires on the four heat sinks are loose.
According to the miner's error, it's a fan problem or temperature problem. Check the related lines. If there's no problem with the temperature control on the heat sink, something could be wrong with the chip program. You might have to reset the firmware.